In this workbook, we have cells with data validation. So there's a drop down list, and I can select any item. And if I select another item from the drop down, it adds it in the same cell separated by a comma. And this is done with some event code on this worksheet. So we'll see how to set this up in a different workbook. So here's a new workbook with no data validation in it yet. I'm going to widen column B just so we have room for multiple entries and then select a few cells where I want data validation drop down lists. And to highlight those cells I'm just going to put a simple border around them and then a fill color so people could spot them easily. Then selecting all those cells I'll go to the Data tab on the ribbon and click Data Validation. And in this Data Validation dialog box, on the Settings tab, under Allow, I'll click List. And then I could use a list from my workbook, but I'm going to just type a list in this case. So, North, South, East, West. So there'll be four items available in our drop-down. And I'll click OK. And now each cell, when we click it, shows that drop down arrow. And if I have South and then select East, the new selection overwrites the old one. So to make it work with multiple selections, we're going to copy code from the sample workbook. So going back to this sample, this sheet is named same cell. This example puts all the entries in the same cell. So I'm going to right click on the sheet tab and click view code. And that opens up the Visual Basic editor. And I can see my new workbook here, book two, and here's the sample one, which is the DataVal multi-select. So you can download this on my website. And here's our sheet, same cell, and there's the code, starting with option explicit at the top of the worksheet. And here's the event code for the, when we change the worksheet, this code will run. So I'm just going to select everything on this worksheet, and then I'll click the copy button. I'll go back to Excel, and here's our new workbook. It's on sheet one and I'll right click that sheet tab and click view code. So book two, sheet one, and this workbook has just got option explicit at the top. Your worksheet uh, module might not have that, it just might be blank. So I'm going to delete that because I copied the option explicit off the sample sheet. I'll click paste. So now the code that we copied is now on the sheet one sheet module. I'm going to have to make one little change because the code in the sample is looking at column three and I've used column B which is column two. So I want my changes to occur in column two. So now when I go back to my new sheet make a selection here east and then select south it adds the new item along with the old in the cell, so it doesn't overwrite it. So to make this work, I have to save this workbook as macro enabled and make sure that you're allowing macros to run when you open the workbook. You might have to change your security setting to allow macros.